Hi everyone, so I wanted to do a couple of different things with this video and the first of those things is an apology. Um, I have not recorded any videos or responded to any comments or acknowledged any requests in like two months now, so I just wanted to apologize for that. I know um, it's really bad practice, especially since I'm just getting started. I have had the craziest couple of weeks here. Um, I finished up school and then I was at home for a little bit where I recorded my last video and then I got an internship so you know, I'm here and there's just been a lot of moving around and so like I said it's been pretty crazy but I'm hoping to be able to record videos more regularly starting about now. Um, for anyone who likes my role plays, the next video will be a role play, so and I'm hoping to get it out in the next week. So keep an eye out for that. And um, that brings me to my second point, which is an enormous thank you to everyone who's watching these videos and um, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I honestly am doing this just because I like it and I don't know, it's just something fun to do so I'm, it's amazing to see the kind of response that I've been getting. I've had my account up for what, two months, two and a half months now and I've gotten like 250 subscribers and 15,000 I think video views so it's just really really flattering and I never expected um, anything, anyone to really appreciate it, but I'm very grateful and I just wanted to say thank you and hopefully I will be taking time to respond to your requests and your messages and your comments in the next week, but like I said, I've just been very busy, so um, anyway, so on to today's topic for my video. I I have recently become absolutely enamored with Lush Cosmetics and I'm sure a lot of you girls have heard about Lush or have experienced the wonderfulness of their products but if you haven't, you should. Um, their products are amazing. I ordered the first bunch of them on high recommendations from some of my girlfriends right before my finals week at college and it shipped to the wrong address so I didn't actually get the box until about two weeks ago and I have become a believer in the past two weeks so I'm completely in love and I actually just went to the store where by where I live today and got some products so I'm going to show you the things that I've been using for the past two weeks or so, and then I'm going to um, unbox all of the new stuff that I have, so I hope you enjoy, and I don't know if you want to try Lush, or if you like their products, um, but hopefully you'll be able to get some information, I guess, as well as some relaxation, so I hope you enjoy. Like I said, I'm going to start with a box of stuff from, um, uh, oh, from what I got two weeks ago. Um, I got about eight different products off their website, and I used a blog, and I can't remember the name of it now, but it was a Lush Review website for a bunch of their products and so I basically went off of their recommendations for the things that I actually purchased. Um, it came in a nice little box of this size uh, and it was all packaged up in paper and it actually came with a magazine of their products but I threw that out. I don't have that to show you, but I'm going to just go ahead and start. Okay. So, um, 
this is the first thing that I got, and it's the only... I got two bottles, actually. Um, I got this, which is skin toner, and it's called Breath of Fresh Air, and it comes in a little squirt bottle, so you can use it, and um, it basically, I don't know, it's toner, it's very good, I like it a lot, it really gets the dirt out of your face and the grime out a lot better than a lot of products I've ever used. If anyone's familiar with Clinique, it actually reminds me a lot of their clarifying lotion, uh, but it smells better. So, this is um, a great product for anyone. So, the rest is in wonderfully crinkly packaging, so. Um, I got two of these hands that were massage bars, and the first is called, I don't know how to say it exactly, it's called Wiki Magic M Muscles Massage Bar, and it's designed to be used on sore and tired muscles, and um, it has cinnamon leaf peppermint oils. And, and it has basically, a, it smells like cinnamon, almost, I'm not such a fan of it, but, um, my boyfriend actually loves the smell, so I would recommend it, especially for guys, but, um, it's very, uh, it rubs out into sort of an oil, almost, um, it sort of just like rubs off and becomes this really good oil, and it's, I mean, it's very strong, so I don't use a whole lot of it, because I don't really need to, but it also comes with these sort of beads in them, and, um, they're very good for exfoliation, so I would recommend it, especially for boys. So again, that's the Wiki Magic Muscles. Bar and such, but packaged up like that. I like to keep them in the packaging because they are really soft, um, and they will sort of like fall apart and turn into mush if you don't keep them dry. So that was the first real item. The second item was also a massage bar and. Um, Called the Softcore Honey Cocoa Massage Bar. Um, it comes in the shape of a little heart. It's a lot smaller than the other one. And it actually um, comes off a little bit faster. The smell actually reminds me of a Starburst. I don't know if any of you know that smell, but that's what it smells like. So you like fruity, sugary things, I would recommend it. Um, it's a bit strong for me, but I like the shape, and it turns into this really relaxing oil that you can use on your back or your feet, so. Um, I actually like their massage bars probably the best out of anything I got, so. Again, I'd highly recommend this. came with two samples, and I'm not exactly sure what they are, I haven't used either of them yet. Um, one is called a Dream Steam Tab, it comes with a little description, but I think it basically goes into the bathroom and does like fizzing or something, I'm not sure. It kind of almost reminds me of a dish soap tab. <laughs> but it's about yay big, it's about the size of a quarter. It's really comes off really easily. It's powder. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, 
Then um, the second sample I got was Canadian maple soap, and um, it's a body soap. I've heard it's actually pretty popular. It smells good. It kind of smells almost like honey more than maple syrup. Sure. Um, I like the smell a lot. I'm looking forward to trying it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So that was good. Those were the samples. I think if you order a certain amount of products from online from them, they give you like free samples or something. Um, this I forget what it's called. Um, this is a body butter, and um, I'm not such a huge fan of it. I don't know, I forget the name of the scent or whatever it's called. But it has exfoliating beads in it. Kind of almost like salt. Um, let's see how close. It's, I don't know, I mean, it's not my favorite. I can't really explain why. Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. I've only used it like once or twice. Because again, I'm not so great. I mean, it feels good on your skin, but there are other things that feel better. So, kind of is what it is. This is um, Queen of Hearts soap, and this is the only actual soap product that I got. Um, it looks kind of like this. It's very pretty, I think. It's a nice color. It smells really good. It smells a lot like a, um, many of the other Lush products. Um, it's wonderful on your skin. It feels amazing. Apparently it's one of the only products that you can actually use on your face and your body. And it's really good on your face. So I've used it on my face and I haven't necessarily seen any difference in acne or anything like that. I don't really get acne so I can't really advise on that front. but. Um, I would recommend it just for the smell and for the consistency, and it's soft and makes you just feel really pampered, so I really like it. Um, so that was good. I also got um, a conditioner. I can't remember what it's called. American something. Um, and I liked it. It didn't... I have very dry hair, and so I found that it was didn't coat my hair as much as I like conditioner to. Excuse me. So I was, I went through a lot of it just to get my hair covered. So I found it to be very expensive for the amount of use I get out of it. Um, it's all gone now, so I can't show it to you because I threw the bottle out. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you have very um, thin hair, in which case it would probably be really good for you. I don't know. This is the favorite product, my favorite product that I got. It's called um, oops, the Godiva Shampoo Bar, and it's actually what they call solid shampoo. Um, so you get it kind of like in this circle. Wonderfulness. It's almost like a soap, and you actually rub it in your hair. Um, you would a bar of soap on your body, um, and if you actually rub it on your scalp, it exfoliates really, really well. It feels amazing. It gets down to your roots better than any shampoo I've ever experienced. It just makes your scalp feel amazing, so I would highly recommend it. It actually lasts a while. I've used this like, what, five, six times? and looks basically like when I got it, which is not usually true for Lush products, so I would highly recommend it. I also love the scent of it. I can't really explain it. It's, um, it's kind of fruity. Not floral, for sure. It's kind of fruity. Um, not necessarily sweet. It's just, it's a wonderful smell. So, I would 
highly, highly recommend it. So those are all the products I got in my box. Um, so now I'm going to move on to the things I got today, which I'm so excited about. I cannot even contain myself. trying to contain myself. I love things like this. Okay, so where to start? None of these have names on them, like the other um, box of stuff, so I may not know the names of everything, especially since I just kind of grabbed them in the store. But I'm going to try. specifically for the bag. Um, in the store, I don't know if anyone's ever been to a Lush store, but they have all of their items on display and you can grab them and put them in these little bags. So it would be a nice sound. I hope you can hear my voice over there crinkling. I didn't think about that. I hope that works out. So, um, this is, I think it was called a bubble rune, um, it's rose scented, and I think it's like the idea is that it's styled after a macaroon, um, it smells incredible, I just want to take a bath in a bath that smells like this every day for the rest of my life, it smells incredible. It's very light and very floral. Um, it's kind of up my alley. And I don't, it's a really weird, it's kind of soft. I don't know. It's just amazing. So, um, it basically goes in to your bath and makes it bubbly. So, I don't really know what to expect, but I have high hopes. Item number one. Item number two is, um, I think it was called, oh god, it's very, it's falling apart and putting powder everywhere, but it's, a, it's basically a bath fizzy or bath bomb. I don't know what people know them as. And, um, I can't remember the name of this one, but it was something Japanese sounding. And I think the idea is that it smells like a Japanese blossom, not necessarily a cherry blossom, but just Japanese blossom. I'm not really sure. But, um, it has this really nice sound, so I don't think you can hear that. Okay, my hand. smells incredible and you just like I think I'm probably gonna break it in half but you just drop it in your bath and it fizzes and makes your bath really um, luxurious it kind of feels like oily almost but not I don't know they're amazing I love baths so I'm a bath person Next 
two more of these shampoo bars because I'm so incredibly amazed by them. Um, one is called Jumping Juniper, and it's this one, and it's purple, and it's beautiful. Um, it has this little flower in it, and I'm pretty, all of Lush's ingredients are like homemade, something or other, organic, really good for your skin, and all natural, wholesome ingredients, so I really, I don't know, it's really cool to see the actual flower in there in this scalp shampoo bar. So that was the Jumping Juniper one, and the idea behind this one, it's supposed to be really good for reducing um, shampoo buildup and residue that like clogs in your hair. After you use the same shampoo or conditioner for a really long time, that's what it's supposed to be really good at getting out, so like all the grease and things that are built up. That makes your hair shiny. And this one is, I think it was called like Ultra Shiny or something like that, Ultra Shine. Um, it's designed to just make your hair really shiny, so I don't know, it was very simple, but it smells really light and fresh and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking forward to it. This next product is a, another body butter, um, which is the same thing as the one I didn't necessarily like with the sand kind of sea salt stuff in it. Um, I like this one a lot more. I ordered the first ones offline, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. It was also my first time getting products from them, so I really wasn't sure what to expect. But I love the smell of this. It's actually completely black, so it's kind of odd that way. Oh, it's actually melting in my hand, so I'm gonna put it back in the packaging while I talk about it. It's all in my hands now. But it smells like black currant, I think it's called. It's a really weird name. Something with a whip. I forget. Something about snapping the whip. I don't really know why it's called that. But, um, it's, it smells amazing. It smells like, I don't know if you guys know what black currant is, but it smells really fruity, almost like a berry, kind of. It's amazing. And it, like I said, it melts in my hands, so it's very soft, so I'm looking forward to being able to um, find out how wonderful it is. It smells like it's, I have high hopes for this one as opposed to the other one. This is another massage bar, and it's, um, something about peaches. I forget the name exactly, but, um, it smells lemony, almost. It's, like I said, it's supposed to be a peach, but it, like, it smells very lemony, very light, very fresh, so I love the smell. This is design on it. Again, this molds on my hands, so I'm gonna probably put it back in the packaging. But it's another one of those massage bars, like the uh, Soft Core and the Wicca Magic Muscles bar that I was showing you. Um, I like the texture that I showed you on this one because I feel like that's actually be really good when you rub it onto your back or wherever. I'm looking forward to trying this one out. Um, the feeling of that, it's, I like the massage bars because they're very, I don't like using oil for my massages, um, because I find that to be very messy, and I don't really like using lotion because it absorbs too quickly, so this provides a really good spot in the middle, because the oil is very, you know, it's a bar, so you apply it as you go, and that sort of turns into oil, so I love it, I would highly recommend it to it. Um, 
I also got this uh, face mask, and it's called Outfix, Outfix, and it says it, that it's a delicious blend of bananas, vanilla, and oats to cleanse, soften, and moisturize dry and sensitive skin. This is only like six dollars, so um, it was very affordable, um, and I think it'll I'll get like two or three out of uses out of it. Um, you have to keep it in the refrigerator, so I'm actually going to go put this upstairs right now. But it smells really good. It's like a black pot. They have like a little fridge for it. And it's fresh. And it smells really good. It smells like bananas and oats. So it kind of smells like opium. Oh, it's, it smells really good. I'm really looking forward. It's got a really nice consistency to it. So I'm looking forward to pampering myself. And, um, this next thing is going to be really fun to unbox. They have these gift sets, um, in the store. And they're nice and well packaged and decently affordable for what they are. So this one's called the Relax Take a Bath Package. And in it, it has, um, a bubble bar slice. Which is a bubble bath, and it smells like passion and violets, aphrodisiac jasmine. Excuse me. And I can't pronounce this. Lang oils, Y L A N G. I don't know what that is, but it smells wonderful. It sounds wonderful. Then it also has the waving, not drowning lavender bath. Um, and then it has. Uh, bath melt that has jasmine, sandalwood, chamomile, and lavender in it. It's called the Dreamtime Luxury Bath Melt. I actually picked this out in the store and then I found this box. So I got this box instead, but um, it smells really good. It smells like lavender. So I'm gonna unbox this here for you. Give it to a friend as a gift set. Or just take it home. These actually have stickers that tell you um, who packaged your products, um, and it's kind of a nice touch. It's surprisingly difficult to open. Only peanuts, probably. Really bad for the environment. I don't know. Flush tends to try and be really sustainable, but they're colorful. They really ooh, they make a good sound.
complete. So, looks like this is the bubble bar slice. Um, that is the bubble bath. It's really pretty. It smells good. It smells uh, like lavender. This is the um, bath bomb. The waving not dreaming bath bomb. And then, this is really sad, but uh, the Dreamtime Luxury Bath Melt fell apart. It's kind of a bummer, I guess they expect that, which is why they put it in this plastic packaging, but it should melt in the bath just the same, so I'm not worried about it. Um, but yeah, it's wonderful. So, looking forward. Triangle is, oh yeah, see this comes with a little booklet with all of their products as well. So, I'm looking forward to trying all of these different items. And uh, that concludes today's presentation. Look forward to a role play. Are everywhere now. You can look forward to a role play at some point this week, hopefully. And um, as always, please send me any requests that you have or any uh, comments, suggestions, criticisms. Really appreciated. I like to make my videos as relaxing as they can be. So if you have any things that you'd like to see have happen next time, just let me know. And I hope you enjoyed. And I'm sorry again for being absent for so long, but getting back into the swing of things. And I will see you soon. So thank you for watching.